Each day, an estimated 55,000 drivers cross what is officially named the Senator Philip D. Beale Sr. Memorial Bridge. Local citizens sometimes refer to it as the Three Mile Bridge or simply the Pensacola Bay Bridge. But no matter the name, this bridge has been a vital component of the transportation landscape for nearly 60 years. It is actually the second bay crossing constructed near this location. In 1931, the Thomas A. Johnson Bridge opened to connect Pensacola to what would later become the city of Gulf Breeze. Johnson was a Pensacola businessman and a former head of what is now the Florida Department of Transportation. Constructed at a reported cost of $2.5 million, the Thomas A. Johnson Bridge was a narrow, two-lane drawbridge that charged users a $5 monthly toll. As the area grew, so did the need for a new bridge. On October 31, 1960, Governor Leroy Collins cut the ribbon on today's Senator Philip D. Beale Sr. Memorial Bridge. Beale was a native of Pensacola and a former president of the Florida Senate. In the years since 1960, the bridge named in his honor has survived hurricanes, a devastating barge strike in 1989, and growing traffic volumes. In 2010, an evaluation indicated the bridge was nearing the end of its projected lifespan. Structural and life cycle cost analyses revealed that rehabilitating, modernizing, and maintaining the aging bridge would be cost prohibitive. These findings opened the door to a new era, symbolized by a new Pensacola Bay Bridge. With signature arches majestically rising more than 150 feet above the bay, the new bridge will consist of two parallel structures, each with three 12-foot travel lanes, 10-foot shoulders, and 10-foot multi-use paths that are sure to become favorites for pedestrians, joggers, or those wishing to simply relax and enjoy panoramic vistas of the bay. The first bridge, the eventual eastbound structure, is planned for completion in January 2019. At that time, east and westbound traffic will be transitioned to this bridge. This will allow for demolition of the current bridge and completion of the new westbound structure. All construction is currently planned for completion in summer 2020. At this evening's open house, you'll see plans and computer-generated renderings for the new bridge. You'll also be able to take a virtual tour. We hope it will be an informative evening and that you'll use the comment form you've been provided to leave us thoughts and impressions about the planned construction. More information on the Pensacola Bay Bridge construction project is available online or by contacting the Florida Department of Transportation. <music>